this is a series of uh, for a spinning jenny on a, uh, a trailerized unit to tow behind a quad bike action. Right, several different features uh, with this trailer and that they are unique. Uh, one is that the whole thing is loaded from the top and they're stacked one on top of each other but they're totally independent of each other. Um, you'll see a slight movement but that's all you will see from the one that's down below. Uh, yeah, totally independent and very compact um, and lightweight, extremely lightweight. Alright, there's a clutch on these so you can tow the wire. Uh, the clutch enables you to travel it at what speed, Wayne, on the, on the bike with it I without a bird nesting. Comfortably in second gear. So, is that 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour? Uh, good 10. 10 miles an hour yeah. to feed the wire out because these these wires, uh, a smaller wire can weigh up to uh, what, 100 kg, what, 50 kg? Uh, this yeah, 25 kg, so 100 kg of wire altogether. 100 kg of wire, which would make a big, big flywheel, and you get bird nesting. But this, it doesn't happen on this unit. Right. right this is the the centre part of the Jenny. Fits together with a a brake pad in between the centre one to stop it from turning around. Just show us how this works, please. Put the baton over the fence, drag it to the right height, it's roughly there. Look at the handle here, the square, that's about it. And basically, that's really just a, once you go, go past the first top two, it's basically a, a, a hand free operation after that. Just a matter of telling the staple. Can this be used by a left or a, a right-handed person? No, there's a uh, there's two models. Uh, it's just the way it's made. So, would it be opposite for a a, a right-handed person? The right-handed stands over here. Yes. Um, the same you... unit, same unit and configuration, it's just that the handle's welded on up here, comes on up here instead of down here. Why can't you weld the handle in the middle? Uh, for the simple reason that as you bend over, if you put the handle in the middle, um, when you bend over most of your weight and all the bounces occurs at the top here, and you've got your foot to steady it at the bottom and you've got nothing to stop the top other than your hand, and as you bend down, you really got it where it hits on your backside. If it's down here, it misses your backside and rubs hard on your leg all day, and it's very uncomfortable. And that's hence this piece of handle here. So you basically, you, when, as you bend over, you maintain it. If it was down here, it hits on your hip, which is painful. Okay. Right, this shovel is primarily designed for cleaning Fencing manually by hand so that you can get right to the bottom of a four foot strainer hole with ease um, and it's a lot easier to drag it out with this motion here um, to, once you're down deep to actually flick it out and empty it rather than pull this because it gets very very slippery even a wooden handle slippery but it's quite surprising how uh, effortless it is to use with a D handle on and the head's been shaped to actually fit in a augered hole, round hole, um, so that you can get maximum, fill it up with dirt and drag it out. It, it's purposely built for digging strainer holes. These augers are uh, basic standard. This is a parpa, what I call refer to as a parpa auger, um, in a heavy weight, two man, a three mil shaft, three mil flighting. It's set up with a brake tank and breaker tip, fully sprayed. Uh, it's got eutectic spray on here which is tungsten uh, so it won't wear out. It comes with a full face cutter and it is guaranteed 100% to dig in sandstone and parpa from new. No modification needed. Um, will fit any two-man borer 
and will dig anything basically. The only one in the country that will do it from standard. This is a, a lick proof gate catch that um, can can stay open Wayne, is that right? Yeah. Um, can't be rubbed open. Yeah. Right. Lift it up, open, and it, it'll stay open on it by itself. Will it uh, will it close if you swing the gate in a hurry? Can it spring back down? Yeah, it'll yeah. it can pop like that. Yeah. If it's breathed it'll pop from the end. Yeah. Exactly like that.